hair. Come on. Oi, I leveled up from talking to an elven wench. Will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of him. I'll go to Tredegor and meet the Salis. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Michigan is relatively affordable, yeah, compared to a lot of places. Just make sure you want cold and dry, because it's also a very dry state. Welcome to the seven pack. Oh, we've already gwented the hell out of you. Gwented the hell out of you! You have no hell left in you. We played all of the Gwent. All of it. So long. And then we counted your cats, and I only found six. I'm doing a table dance for you, gentlemen. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. See, my, my friend who was in the military, he was stationed in Georgia before he got uh, sent overseas. And he liked Georgia a hell of a lot more than uh, Michigan. But then again, the part of Michigan that the both of us lived had nothing. I mean, it was the Upper Peninsula, and it was... Well, there was nothing. Let's leave it at that. Hiding the last cat under a dress? Giggity! I looked. I couldn't find him. Uh, where the hell are we going? And why is it directing us this way? Oh, because it's a... Crossroads. I didn't look hard enough. Damn! Well, level 11 is still the lowest. So, up and away. Um, I would have to talk to him. I'm not quite sure. I just know that he always talks about going back to Georgia because he loved it so much more than Michigan. But to be fair, the place we were in in Michigan, pretty much anywhere you went, you would have looked at it and went, this is amazing. I mean, the first time I went to um, Marquette, Michigan, I thought it was a big city because they had like a Walmart and a Best Buy. Like, they had more than one store to serve more than one town. Or, that served just one town. Because, like, where I grew up in Ironwood, Michigan, you had Kmart. And Kmart was enough for Ironwood and Wakefield and Hurley. So it was enough, like, that one small crappy store was enough for the surrounding, like, three towns. Towns. So. What do you need? Oh, come no closer. Even the furnace is something awful. Oi, Gwent! Let's play it right on your anvil. Wouldn't mind if you. Gwent! Let's do all. Alright, so he's running a Scoia'tael deck, which means he's not going to have a lot of Siege, if any at all, but he will probably have a Rain card. Obviously, we'll keep our Spee. Spee! And we'll roll our Siege. Um, Detroit is getting better, and it depends where you live. I live a couple of minutes outside of Detroit. And I say a couple of minutes because I could drive up the road for like three or four minutes and be in Detroit. I've got friends that live in Detroit. I mean, I've been here for a while. It's... In some regards, it's as bad as the media says, but in other regards, it's about being smart. You know, and which area you live in, so... To be fair, my father lives in an area of Detroit where you look on one block and the buildings look fine. And you go on the next block, and there's a bunch of, you know, condemned buildings that have been set on fire. Welcome to Detroit! So... Detroit! Bam! Give me that spot! Boom! Cards for me! Give me the penis! Ah, oh, no, I didn't get him. Damn! 
I need my golden kingly cock. Actually, I guess he didn't make king, did he? Still a prince? Ever a prince? This is kind of a shitty hand, to be honest. Like, we have a lot of potential in this hand. We've got one blue stripe and two more in our deck. We've got one of the dragon hunters and one more in our deck. We've got a medic. That's a good plan, chicken. I mean, the thing about Detroit is a lot of it, it's affordable, but you got to be smart about it, so... Alright, so we're going to use him because we have a lower chance of getting him, but if we draw another one because we win the round, then uh, we can always medic it. We have two medics, so... And we got a blue stripe. A golden kingly cock. Is it a god card? No. But he is a spy, so... I would sooner have him than not. Alright, so the way things are looking, it's looking like in this round we should draw out as many of his cards as we can and then give him the round. So we're not going to use any of these three cards. And we probably aren't going to use this either. Because basically, let's see, if we play her once and then we can decoy her again. So basically, yeah, we can play all of these cards here and then res them. So... We're going to give him this round and draw as much stuff out of his hand as possible. And then give him the round, so... Ah! Well, okay, this changes things a little bit. We're going to decoy the spy instead. Well, actually, we might not. Because we can always res the spy. And if we res the spy... Okay, so what we could do instead is we could play her as a medic. And we could medic Vesemir. That's going to add 11 to our score, bringing us up to 36. They're going to have to play multiple cards to beat that. In the next round, we play Yennefer. Yennefer reses the medic. Then after that, the medic reses the spy. Then we can decoy our medic twice to bring back our blue stripes. That seems like a good plan to me. And that's what we're going to do. That way he's going to have to play multiple cards. Multiple cards to get past us. Whoa, $25 an hour. Damn, what are you doing? Something right, apparently. Um, let me make sure. Yeah, everything's fine with our plan. It's a good plan! I like this plan! I mean, he does have card advantage. That makes me a little nervous. But, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we play Yennefer. Yennefer brings back the Medic. Alternate Vesemir. See, that's what I don't like about this Vesemir card. Compare the background, compare the details of the Vesemir card with every other regular card. None of them come remotely close. Vesemir should be a heroic card. Even if he was still only, like, six points, or maybe eight points, and they made him heroic, like, he should not be a six-point common card. Because this card looks too good to be common. Just saying. Just saying. Nice, we got the golden penis. I've got the golden ticket. Oh, no, wait. Uh, basically, we're hoping for a frost. Bam! Not a frost. Alright, so the next thing is to try and play anything that's less than a six. 
Mechatronics? Um, it used, Michigan used to be primarily a mining state, and then it turned into manufacturing in the Lower Peninsula. In theory, under the new administration, it'll become very big in, man, in, uh, yeah, in manufacturing again, but uh, that's, that's speculation. Great, another six. The more sixes he plays, the better. So let's start. Mm, yeah, let's bring our blue stripes back. So let's take her. I don't know. This is. No, we're gonna have enough points now that I think about it. With all these blue stripes, we should be good. Plus a scorch. Now we're gonna need to play the scorch before we uh, play the horns. Or the next decoy. Or the next medic, rather. We can... Lord. Alright, he's out of cards, though. Only gonna get 110. This is rough. <laughs> that is awesome, chicken. I like that. An accordion? Real men play accordions. Real men like Weird Al Yankovic. Bam! Points! Boosh! Wait, you mean I can't just play my hero or my leader for the hell of it? You bastards! That'd be good, chicken. Hey, LS, how you doing? Baha! The victory! It is mine! Da ha 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 ha! Hey! What do you need? Oh, come no closer. The heat from the furnace is something awful. What are you selling? What's good? What are you buying? What are you selling? Oh, the shopkeeper in Resident Evil 4's a little creepy, but I love him. Pretty awesome, you're saying. Oh, you're still sick? Well, so don't long. be sick. Did that help? I hope so. What is she doing? The sorceress. Yennefer, right? Wait, Yen is here? I mean, I know she's here in the area somewhere. I didn't know she was in this town. I still have to go in the tavern and beat the crap out of somebody else. I mean, play Gwent with somebody else. Uh, we don't need black blood anymore. That vampire ended up not... Not sucking whatsoever. Generate... Uh, adrenation, yeah. I'm good at words. Adrenaline is fine. We gotta remember to put our uh, adrenaline stuff back on, though. What do you mean locked? Nah, 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 nah. Best lyrics. Salt air gives a man a powerful thirst, don't it? A thirst for gambling. Got a thirst for gambling myself. Um, I sympathize, LS. My girlfriend is sick, so. I'll give you the same advice that I gave her through the act of buying her stuff. Chicken noodle soup, chicken broth, lots of fluids, lots of rest. Ergo, shopping is fun. A yada yada, a yada yada. Great. 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 I think Vesemir has shown up in every opening hand since we put him in our deck. Old man's just hungry for attention. Hungry like the wolf. 